family begging for a fair go. They want to remain together to create memories with their sick mum. But their local council has ordered their granny flat be demolished, even though it was built 20 years ago. Let us use the unit for what it was built for. Let us live as a family together to support one another. We have a family with so many challenges that it makes our heart break. And here we have a council saying we don't care. It stood for about 20 years. And now the local council has decided it's time to go. But how does a mum battling stage four breast cancer fight off the bulldozers? I worry about what will happen in the future if I'm not here and they have to move? Christine has a fight on her hands just to stay alive. I have more scans coming up in February and hoping that they come back OK. Now her home is hanging in the balance. There's nothing wrong with it. It's, it's beautiful. You know, it would make a lovely home for, for anyone and the council want to destroy it. Two bedrooms, a kitchen, bathroom, even a carport. This granny flat makes the perfect home. But even in a housing crisis, the City of Whittlesea Council won't let anyone live there. Whittlesea Council turned up on our doorstep unannounced. We had no idea they were coming and demanded access to the unit to make sure no one was living in it. Christine moved into the rental property in Mernda, northeast of Melbourne, in March this year. All because it was just a five minute drive from her actual home of 16 years, where she raised her three children that's now just home to her son, Ronan, and his round-the-clock carers. Our son's 23. Um, he's moderately severely disabled and we are not getting any younger. So it made sense that we move out and rent a property and leave him in his home. The sacrifice to give her son the best, quickly turning into a painful saga. It's not a legal building and they want it demolished. It's just not fair, it's not right that they do this. Christine chose the rental on the basis it was close to Ronan and had a granny flat for her other family members. Her granddaughter and son were meant to live in it while times were tough until council banned anyone from residing there because it was originally built without a planning permit and over an easement. The building's been there for 20 years. So why is it now after 20 years all of a sudden there's a problem with it. The council aren't backing down, they want it demolished. Solved the situation, he's brought in engineers and everyone to, to try and prove to council there's nothing wrong with it, but council aren't backing down, they want it demolished. The family of five are cramped inside the main house, waiting for the moment bulldozers bowl up their driveway. It means they'll have to move again, just 10 months after moving in, and stop Christine's in-home cancer treatment. I'd have to go back into the hospital for my treatment. It's a 40 minute drive in, a 40 minute drive out. I have to take myself in, myself out, because everyone else is working. She's a mum, just trying to keep her family together while she still can. You never know what's going to happen next. So having those memories, you know, no matter what, that's really important. I don't know if there is a harder bunch of circumstances for anyone to face in Victoria this holiday season. And we have the Grinch of Council saying, we don't care, we will enforce and you can just be quiet. Dean Hurlston, President of Council Watch. It's now trying to enforce something rather than be decent and reasonable and simply make this retrospective and give this family some peace of mind. The Whittlesea Council's decision to demolish the granny flat comes at the same time the Victorian state government makes it easier to build one. Stripping the burden of approvals and keeping families close 
was hailed a huge win by Victorian Premier Jacinta Allen at the time. This is a really sensible and practical change to drive the construction of more second homes. From December 14, new laws came into effect in Victoria, allowing granny flats under 60 square metres to be built without a planning permit on properties 300 square metres or larger. You've got the state saying one thing and the council saying not on our watch. In a statement, a spokesperson from the city of Whittlesea said... While we empathise with the challenges they are facing, we are concerned the secondary dwelling on the property is not safe for people to live in. It doesn't meet building regulations in relation to a number of items including waterproofing, fire safety and other critical building safety measures. There's always a bureaucratic excuse as to why something can't happen. Christine knows the reality of a demolition. All the dust, the dirt, the noise. And fears if the council can't let this little place stay, her house hunt will start all over again. And all she's asking for is... Yeah, a little bit of care, a little bit of compassion, a little bit of common sense would be handy too. That would be good. The council won't back down. It's instructed the landlord to demolish the building, but says Christine and her family are able to remain in the house while the work's being done.